Good afternoon, everyone. This is Mark with Wear Parts, and today I've got Eric Derry with us from our inside sales customer care team. And what we want to discuss today is our serrated edge DRZ product family of disc blades. Uh, Eric, tell us, why would you run a serrated edge blade? Well, if you have a disc blade application where you want to do additional sizing, um, having trouble cutting through those stocks, you want to really make sure that you shred those before you go into uh, um, before you go into your other tillage and planting. Uh, this is an excellent option. You've got a lot of uh, um, a lot of surface edge, a lot of edge to be able to cut. But anytime you start adding those undulations and notches, all you're doing is increasing how much cutting length you have on that blade. It makes sense. So you actually have you have more uh, outside diameter uh, if you with your notches. So on those, uh, we actually stock them in a in a couple different brands, and we stock them to fit a few different models, don't we? So we do stock it in the the Neo 200 brand, and we also have them uh, in the Selsun brand as well. So tell us just a little bit about the, the Neo 200 brand uh, and what that brings to the table. And what the Neo 200 does is it's a special heat treating process that is uh, uh, pretty much exclusive to, to, uh, this, uh, uh, to this brand name, the, the, uh, the Neo 200. Uh, anytime you see that on a blade, that means that you're looking at three different types or three different zones of heat treat on this on the same blade. So on the inside of the blade, it's going to be the soft. It's going to be the softest. Is that 48 to 52? Right. Yeah, 48 to 50. 48 to 50. 48 to 50. Okay. Uh, so what that's doing is that's uh, giving you extra flexibility right at that hub. Uh, it helps prevent the blade from cracking out right in the center there. Okay. As you move out. You get into the second heat treat zone, which is a 50 to 55. So it gives you excellent durability, keeping that blade stiff from there on, on the way all the way out, making sure that it's not going to be bending. It's going to um, uh, really last you a long time and not uh, start to deform. And then as you get farther out to the edge, there's a third zone of heat treat, which is all all the way up to uh, 55 to uh, 58 Rockwell C. You're getting into really hard. Uh, really high end heat treating here and what that'll do is that'll keep that edge sharp and lasting a long time have that hardest zone right on the outside where you're not as concerned about it breaking the entire blade but you really want that to last a long long time the, the other thing about that harder edge you know some people worry is it more brittle will it will it crack and break more but we found it performs better in rocky conditions and it actually wears sharper as well. So it actually facilitates uh, what you're trying to do with this DRZ blade, uh, which is sizing residue and some tillage. So, uh, you know, because you've got a little bit of concavity on all of our DRZ blades. So you're, you're throwing a little bit of dirt, getting some black uh, mixed in it, but also sizing your residue. So we've got, everything we stock is 22 inches in diameter. And it fits the Kraus um, accelerator, and uh, uh, we're developing one for the interceptor as well. And then we also have them for the Sunflower VT as well, uh, which is a slightly different mold on that. And then we also uh, are we we can fit the deer ones as well uh, using the uh, Kraus blade with just it's the same mold with just a bigger center hole because the deer machine has a slightly bigger axle. And if there is an application where you might want to try these on uh, your own, as long as we're over an inch and three quarter, which is what our standard pilot is, we could cut that hole to whatever size that, that you'd be looking for. Uh, so if it might be something you might want to experiment with potentially, and we're definitely open to that, see what other applications these blades could work for. Yeah, they, they have a flat center on them, so you are able to put a a bolt pattern in them if you were wanting to do something on your own. It's a very sharp edge here. But then on the, uh, on the as far as the, the Selsun brand, this is 48 to 52 Rockwell uh, from the center all the way out to the edge. So uh, still a good high quality. Yeah, entry. very still a very high quality blade. Um, it, it runs uh, 
right along with everybody. We've actually had better wear than some of the domestic brands uh, with this particular brand here of blades. Uh, so um, again, two options there, uh, whether you're wanting uh, a much longer wear or whether you want something that's uh, what you're used to more. Uh, more of an economy blade. Yeah, well, I think that's it for our DRZ product family. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, good afternoon.